I'm in Manhattan, sitting in the car. <laughs> Took out my hair, and now I'm separating it more. So where the crinkles are, you know you can separate them and make it more finer detailed curls. Then when I get home, I'm take a pick, fluff it up. But right now it's curled all the way to the roots. So this is from the two strand twist cornrows. You don't have to braid your hair, ladies. Because braiding would just disrupt your pattern. You want that curl pattern. So do the two strand twist cornrows. And then your hair would just have be trained to do the, the twist like that. This is a training. Train up your children in the way they should go, and you train up your curls in the way they should go too. Make sense? Okay. So it feels good. Set your hair like this. I'm in Manhattan. So you just sit here and watch people go by, take out my hair at the same time. Okay, so if you two strand twist it, you can control the pattern of your hair, fluff it up. You can interrupt, you know, disturb it, make it a little rough, and then it'll just get fuller, 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 fuller. And you massage your scalp because it feels so good. Be gentle. You don't have to really worry about the parts, but if you're gonna wear it out, then I would. If you're gonna wear it out like a corn rose, then I would worry about the parts. So this is it. This is hair, real hair. This is what your hair could do. This is woolly hair. So moisturize it, condition it, set it, let it dry, and then you'll see the results that you want. You do it often enough, then it'll just go back like that after you wash it. Okay. And that's it. Doing your hair should be relaxing, it should be rewarding, praising the Father, and then it'll just grow. Okay, so let's see. I cut it so, so it could be all even. I don't want to stretch out your curls too much. But as you set in your hair, give it a little stretch. So when you take it out, it, it's elongated. <laughs> so I like the cornrow twist outs. Now I like to start from back here, my the top of my dome, my crown, and then work my way around. Okay. And you do that, work your way all around so that you can get the nice patterns in front. Your roots will have the crinkles in it too. And then, you know, if you have that oil, people be putting that baby gel in their hair. You can do that to your baby hair. You know? So, this is just the base, what you can do if you're out in the wilderness. And you have children, you know, you can just, you know, set your hair like this when it dry in the sun. Voila, this is basic. Now you could dress it up, style it up how you want in a ponytail, you know, or fluff it up and give it a lot of uh, fullness, you know. But right now, this is the 
at the preset. This is the set to the hair. People are walking by. Minding their business. That's what New Yorkers do. We, we go when we come. We help people along the way. We mind our business. Unless somebody help, you know, asks for help, then we quick to go to people help. But other than that, if you ain't hollering for me, I'm not hollering for you. I'm on my business. There's so much to do throughout the day. And it's all love. Everybody knows that. Some people are window shopping, minding their business. Some people are shopping, minding their business. You know, if you mind your business, you live longer. You know? And just people are all around. That's why I tell people in New York, if you just mind your business, you'll be straight. You say good morning, you smile. If you're a polite person, if a person smiles at you, then they not rude, but they know how to be rude. But we just mind our business in New York. Let me just follow it down. If I was in the house, I would have my little tools, my little brush and comb. You know, but when you see them together like that, you see that little crinkle part, you could pull them apart. And then it becomes more fuller and more fuller on your head. This is how I work my crown. Everybody has their crown on their head. Sisters, brothers. You see all that? That's the uh, peptides and things like that in the hair. <laughs> I learned all that in school. But as you can see, the father changed not. And you can just separate them. So the blow in the wind more. It's okay if hair comes out. 125 strands supposed to shed from my hair every day. If you don't do your hair in two, three days, just expect more come out. Okay? Hair is strong, so eventually it won't shed like that. Just a few sh strands. But if that's how the father has it, that's how it's going to be. You know, mind the products that you put in your hair. Make sure you're aware of what you're putting in your hair. Just like you should be aware of what you're putting in your mouth. Like you should be aware of what comes out your mouth. Because for, for every action, there's a reaction. So if you say, dang, I shouldn't have said that. Because they wouldn't have reacted that way. Then you, you, you understand you. Understand you. you know? So just know, for every action, there's a reaction. Whether if it's not from them, it's from the most high. Yeah, you just fluff it up with your hands, massage it, especially in the back, because that's where you get the migraines and the headaches. So if you want to massage the, the back of your, the nape of your head, that feels so good. <laughs> and the more that you meditate and take care of yourself by doing your hair, the less stress. I did my hair, I saved money. You know, we already have curly, naturally curly hair. You know, so as long as you set it nice and set it the way you want when you take it out, y'all already know what I'm talking about. This is not new language to y'all. Y'all do your hair nicely, I see. So this is just the basics of love your hair. <laughs> so if it was short, you still do the same set, same routine. It'll just be out here. If your hair is long, you do the same routine. You know, just like if you have a plant, 
and you water it every two days, what's going to happen to it when you don't do it on the third day? It's going to start wiltering. Okay, so you do your hair the same way. You love your hair. You see what's the best set for your hair and your face. And then once you get it, you're like, okay, then this is it. And you can put it up in a ponytail. You can put it in a twist. But either way, your curls is going to behave. Practice make perfect. So if you don't get it right the first time, try, try again. You're like, I like the way the curls came out on that set. Then you do the same thing over and over again. Okay, until your hair is set and know which way to grow. Fair enough? Yeah, people are just going around. Let me see if I could, I can't turn my phone around. Oh, nope. But just people could, t could be going around in the city. Yep, in Times Square. Am I in Times Square? This is definitely 45th. I love Manhattan. You know, but I love the wilderness. You know, I love the people in the South. I love people in Brooklyn and the Bronx and all the tri-state areas, including Connecticut. Westchester counties. People mind their business. And people look out for each other. You see, so as you just be in here chilling and get playing in your hair, you can separate it. It's just like when you like it, you feel around in there. When you separate it, it'll get fuller and fuller and fuller. Now, when you do the two-strand twist, it does matter the size of the chunks that you, you get. So if you twist tight, oh man, you get results like this. If you retwist small, then you'll get you know you less that you have to break because you already did all the breaking. That's it. It's relaxing. And then you put your hands in your hair. And if you have healing hands, your hair will just keep growing. Mm -hmm. So I like how that turned out. People just talking and talking and yelling. It's all right. It's New York. How we do, I'll be here. Right, so security is coming around. And we got the little corner food places to eat. I wouldn't eat out there. It's up to you. This is a New York thing. That's what we do. If we hungry, we'll stop at one of those little food trucks. I want to get them hot dogs. We've been dying of cancer, them hot dogs. You know? Got the Arabs with their halal chicken trucks and stuff like that. Food is tasty. If you're really hungry. You know? But if you can wait to get home to cook, I would. Don't eat Chinese food. You know? Just lost the taste for Chinese food. I lost the taste for all this outside food. If you know how to cook, you go home and you cook. You know what seasoning is in it in there. You know what oil you use. Um, you know how if you cooked it well, you know, you cleaned it. <laughs> you washed your hands. You know, so it's better to just cook at home. Okay, so I just wanted to talk to y'all. I'm sitting here, took out my hair, and we're just chilling. 
now that the um, Arabs came over by my car because they saw me filming their little trucks. But it's all good. Let's see if they're on the other side of the car. There they go. This is a New York thing. They're not knocking on the window. I'm chilling. And I could move up because I am at a parking a fire truck. Hold on. What you call those? Can he come on? Hold on. Okay, I'm just going to pull up. I got to adjust the seat because it's not my car. So now I'm not in a fire hydrant and I can't get a ticket. I don't want to get a ticket. Okay. So I parked the car and I'm shutting it off. Hello. I did that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Much love, everybody. Peace. Shalom. Shalom.